Hello and welcome to Euphoria, where we take a look at the week's news from a slightly different perspective. This week's top story, Scotland's vote for independence. But first, some EU news. After the excitement of last week's nominations for the new EU Commission, it hasn't taken long for the criticism to start. Spain's Miguel Arias Cañete, Jean-Claude Juncker's choice to deal with climate action and energy, has come under fire for his shares in oil firms and potential conflict of interest. And then there's Juncker's nominee for financial stability and services, the UK's Jonathan Hill. As BP pointed out on Twitter, a banking lobbyist becomes EU Commissioner for financial service? It's not even a bad joke. Meanwhile, others claim that Germany's Günter Oettinger isn't up to the task of handling the digital economy. The big story this week, however, has been Scotland's referendum on independence. The Scottish people cast their vote on Thursday to decide whether or not to remain with the UK, or to shake things up and head off in a different direction. The future is uncertain for an independent Scotland. Could it make it on its own? Should it be allowed to join the EU? And what about its own currency? Clearly, it's a complicated issue. Now, both sides of this argument have valid points. The freedom-loving heirs of the Highland tradition and those who enjoy crawling like worms beneath British boots. The most recent polling After shows all, Scotland and England haven't always been on the best of terms. Fortunately, England has tried to make up for lost time in recent weeks. On the roof of Downing Street, on the orders of the Prime Minister, no less, a moment of high symbolism. Oh dear, and it's not as though everything was going swimmingly before. That's right. Not even English flagpoles can suddenly start treating Scotland with the respect it deserves. Get this rag off me. Get it off. I can't. Get this blue mess off me. For more euphoria, and to see where we found this week's content, check out our website at euronetplus-connect.eu. That's all for this week. See you next time. (laughs) 